What is up guys? It is Seahaw here and I am super excited today to talk to you about Gen 3 Pokemon finally getting released into Pokemon Go. How excited is that? So just this morning, uh, Pokemon released a new YouTube video and a new blog article letting you know that Gen 3 Pokemon are coming. As you can see, being a little festive. Got the Pokemon shirt on, which is super, super cool, Asley. I, I don't know. Camera adds 10 pounds. Don't worry about it. But anyways, let me read it from here from the official Pokemon Go blog, uh, and I'll put the link in the description here. So big changes are coming to Pokemon Go. Finally, right? Ah! ah. Anyways, Pokemon Go from the Hoenn region and new weather effects will go expand your Pokemon Go adventure. New weather events? Tell me more. Okay, because when this game first came out, uh, people were thinking that you would catch more Pikachu around, uh, like you know, power plants, or when there was a light lightning storm, or things like that. Right? Eh, it didn't really happen. Maybe some things kind of fell in, fell in line, but that really wasn't in the game. So weather patterns are coming, and it's a huge thing. So I'll continue reading here. Get ready to do a lot more exploring, and Pokemon Go introduces a huge update that will expand your Pokedex. Pokedex and change the way you play. Dozens of new Pokemon originally discovered in the Hoenn region will soon start appearing for the first time. You'll be able to catch Tureko, uh, Torchic, Mudkip, and many others with even more Pokemon waiting to be discovered in the next several weeks. So Pokemon, they're going to release 50 Pokemon for the Hoenn region, okay? Uh, and in the video uh, that I have going to be playing here uh, for you. You'll be able to see uh, some of the extra ones here too. Uh, and you see the thumbnail. So lots of them. I, I can see based on the evolutions of that thumbnail, uh, what they released about 40, 41 Pokemon are going to be in there. Uh, but we know we're going to get a total of 50 in this release. Okay. So I'll continue reading on here. Pokemon from the Hoenn region aren't the only new additions in Pokemon game. Pokemon Go. The game is also introduced in a dynamic weather system that will now affect how trainers discover, catch, and interact with Pokemon. That is amazing. Okay, tell me more. The in-game map will be updated with cool new weather visuals based on local weather patterns. The real world weather will also influence Pokemon you are likely to discover. For example, water type Pokemon with, will be more plentiful during rainy weather. Amazing. So you'll be catching more Squirtles when it's raining out there. Cool. This is huge, you know, or Mudkip when it's raining, right? So that's the Gen 3 Pokemon. So that means when it's raining outside, I, I don't know. I live in Iowa, right? We have lots of birds and uh, ratatats, all those kind of things, right? A lot of Pidgeys. We have a few good spawns here and there, but like I see a lot of the YouTubers and content creators uh, in other parts of the world, say like California or Florida. I've been on vacation to Florida here recently, and I do a lot of Pokemon there. Oh my God, it's a whole different world of spawns. But you're telling me now I get more of the water Pokemon that I almost never see here in the Midwest because uh, there's no water around us based on if it's raining. So now that's awesome. So now your spawn rates and how strong the Pokemon are going to be based on the weather. So if it's snowing here, I'll be able to find more ice and steel Pokemon, for example, and they'll be stronger, higher CPs. That is amazing. So now I won't be kind of landlocked into my spawn. So if you're one of those people that are out there and your Pokemon you can only find in certain areas, now that's going to be different and the strength of them will vary based on when you catch them. So if it's raining outside, Pikachu will be around and your Pikachu will be stronger CP. Uh, if it's bright and sunny out, your Charizard's fire moves are going to do more damage. You're going to find more fire type Pokemon, things like that. So like Torchic, you're going to find him all over the place when it's bright and sunny and the weather pattern is going like that for you, which is Super cool. I, can, I can't wait for this to be introduced into the game. This is, this is something that this AR game has absolutely needed, and it's really the next step forward, right? I'll continue reading on. So, likewise, attack types will be affected by certain weather conditions. Our Charizards with Fire Spin, will, for example, will attack with greater heat and battling on a sunny day. Awesome. Right? Now, rain or shine, you're bound to have new and even more exciting Pokemon Go adventures. So, if I go out today, for example, it's just colder than balls outside and tomorrow it's snowing I'm gonna fall, fall different Pokemon if tomorrow it's raining or I'm gonna find different Pokemon if it's sunny I'm gonna find different Pokemon how cool is that now that every day wherever you're at you're gonna have different types of Pokemon coming out that's awesome this game has needed that some other things here are gonna be that when you catch the Pokemon say uh, you know a Squirtle when it's raining you're gonna get extra Stardust, higher CP, more things like that based on just the weather patterns. That's super, super cool to go along with 50 additional Pokemon coming out from the Hoenn region. Yes, this is what we've been waiting for, right? Now, Gen 3 has about 135 Pokemon in it. 
and we're only getting 50, and they're gonna be slowly rolled out over the next several weeks. So what are your guys' thoughts? I'm personally pumped up. I cannot wait to get back outside, throw my coat, throw my hat, my gloves on, because like I said, live in Iowa, the Midwest, it's cold outside. The high today is gonna be like 27 degrees. So anyways, get out and about. Hopefully my friends will get back into the game again so I can start walking out there with them. Uh, I know my boys, my family are gonna be excited to get back out there again. Pokemon, more adventure, Pokemon Go. Uh, but what are your guys' thoughts? What, what Pokemon are you looking forward to the most? Uh, what do you guys think of the new the YouTube video there that I, I just played? Uh, what, do you, what do you guys think about that? I'm, I'm jacked up. That video is high quality. looks super, super cool. I cannot wait for Gen 3 to be out. Uh, later on this year, hopefully they introduce trading, right? Maybe. Maybe they introduce player-to-player -player, uh, PvP. For battling, uh, I don't know, you know, but this is a great step forward for Pokemon Go. Um, you know, with a year that they had lots of issues with uh, some of the different meetups, like in Chicago, like Pokemon Go Fest. Uh, we've been waiting; it's been kind of dead, and they've been slowly trickling us, uh, you know, legendary beast and legendary birds to kind of hold us over. But this is huge. This is a right way to go, kind of end 2017, go into 2018 on the right foot. Weather patterns will keep the game exciting and fresh and new each day. For now, I can see it getting old later on, but for now, it's exciting. The hype train is huge. Hype train is leaving the building, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. What's your favorite Pokemon from Gen 3? Uh, and what do you guys think about the weather patterns? It's huge, right? Uh, if you're not a subscriber already, please like uh, and give this video uh, a comment. And then also subscribe. We're making a push towards 100 subscribers. I know, I'm one of the little guys. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Thanks a lot for watching my video, guys. I love your face. And don't forget, everyone likes you.